I'm gonna try to fix this today. Hopefully I can get it right. And yeah, let's see how it goes. stopping while I was trying to record but I put it on the high lift I cut a few more slots and I uh, started hammering let's try this again see how it works oh there we go <laughs> prettiest but it's done I guess I mean let's do like a few more pieces I cut that I need to hammer up but what I did is I cut slits and I folded it back under itself so yeah now to do the other side we'll fix this first then the other side <laughs> batteries keep dying for my tools when I move and I get my garage situated I am definitely buying corded tools I'll take note of that I'll write it down as mine because I need those but let's continue on with the cutting and folding <laughs> follow the body line anymore but 38s and this side is it's a little I mean, can use a little bit of work but good so far I'm gonna go test it out here in a little bit just to make sure it doesn't even come close to hitting anymore and well probably uh touch it up and when I get that like black u-shaped stuff like the liner and I want to put it in here just so I can hide some of these cut marks I mean I'm a hammer as much of a man but I want to throw that stuff on there if I can find it but yeah it's looking good another thing I haven't mentioned yet my goal with this Jeep was to have the tire when fully flexed and under the rock sliders. And here it is. Sit under and the rock sliders hang down pretty low. So yeah. Also, I am I found a rubber piece that goes on here. I went to AutoZone, but it was too small. So I'm just gonna probably clean where the paint chipped at and just respray it red 
And then let's go look at the other side. And yeah, that one is close. Actually, it sits almost level with the wax slider, so not quite under, but it's close. I think it can go a little more up front, though, so it's not too bad. This side, the paint didn't get that damage on it. And yeah, this time, coming out here, I managed to flex the Jeep out more than I did before. You can see, I extended this twice, once right here, and then once right here, and it's almost coming out. I am gonna put a bump stop on the bottom of it, because you can see, on this side, it's pretty close. It's not hitting yet, but it's close, so I'm gonna put a bump stop on there, weld it on, and it should be good. Yeah. See, on this side, I never had an issue because the tire always tucked in. Now it does rub on the inside, but it was always better than the other side. I just cut it to make everything match. I also bought this thing, forgot to mention. It tells you how much PSI in your tires. I mean, this Jeep doesn't have it from the factory because it's a 98, but it uses solar power and you can plug it up. And it, you can charge as well. It's charged, it's not plugged up at all. And it uses four of these on each wheel. I'll let you guys know how it is in a month or so, see if it's worth it. It was only 20 bucks on eBay. So I went to the store this morning. I found one can of factory paint match. So I used that to paint where I did the cut and fold at. And I also painted the new grill that I got just because I had the color match paint. And I'll show that now. <laughs> And then I just touched this up so it's not bare metal exposed. I know this is still showing, but that's from when I put it on the side. So I'm gonna leave it. Kind of a memory thing. And then, yeah, I'll just touch up this side. I know it wasn't nothing exciting in this one, but soon, hopefully really soon, I can take this on some real fun trails when I head back home, which is actually in a couple days so all right i'll see you guys in the next one